the F4 British Championship, certified by FIA, powered by Ford EcoBoost, rolled into Silverstone on the back of three straight wins for James Headley at his home circuit of Thruxton. Let's take a look at how they line up, though. Pole position to Luke Browning, Casper Stevenson alongside him, then on row two, Zach O'Sullivan, and yesterday's winner, Alex Connor. James Headley is fifth, with Matthias Sakazeta lining up six on the grid, followed by Roman Belinsky and Rima Jafali. Christian Mansell and Frederick Lubin comprise row five, Abby Pulling on row six. So this is the partially reversed grid from yesterday. I think the highest number of non-finishes we, finishes we had yesterday, therefore only four positions getting reversed. And Luke Browning, this is his first reverse grid pole position. Another stat is that we haven't had a reverse grid winner here at Silverstone since 2016. So he's got a fair amount to do, but if anybody can do it, I guess Luke can. He is the championship leader, has been a little bit off form the last couple of rounds, but still racking up those points and still has a good lead in the championship. Lights out, we are F4 racing here at Silverstone. Luke Browning gets away well, slotting into second place is Casper Stevenson. Third position side by side, and already making up a place is Alex Connor in the red car. The Arden Red Arrow goes up the inside line of Zach O'Sullivan. Now, I tell you what, he's on pole for the third race, is Alex Connor. He will be very keen to make it a hat trick, as James Headley did last time out. But it's Casper Stevenson challenging for the lead. Looks to the outside line in the JHR car, but Luke Browning fends him off out of. Beckett's corner down to the down on the Wellington straight for the first time. Looks like Zach O'Sullivan is going to try and fight back, but it's Browning very wide into Brooklands. Good lead from him. Casper Stevenson under pressure from yesterday's winner and double pole setter Alex Connor. Now up the inside, Connor runs a little bit wide and Zach O'Sullivan's coming back in the blue Carlin car to reclaim third place. Great move by O'Sullivan, second in the championship and the Carlin man goes back through. So we are in for a bit of a treat, hopefully, with this race. With Connor again getting on the offensive, Casper Stevenson looks to the outside line as well. This grid, the top five places, all five different teams represented. That's how close to F4 has been this year and indeed how it has remained this weekend. As Abby Pulling makes a pass on Matthias Sakazeta, pulling now into ninth place, two championship points there. The uh, English youngster battling with the Aussie hard at the moment for seventh position overall and indeed the rookie class lead. So it's Bantle there who absolutely loves this circuit. He's been bubbling away on social media saying how much he loves the Silverstone circuit but these two being closed down now by Abby pulling as well so Abby starting last and there were a number of retirees yesterday very slippery conditions we had uh, the F4 race just about the time that the rain showers were scheduled and then we had a, a smattering of rain as Lubin looks to the outside line as they have Abby pulling right in right in the mirrors here as they go through cops now down towards Baggett's Christian Mansell, the man under pressure here. He's got two cars behind him. Lubin is challenged. And Abby Pulling's having a look at the outside line. Passes one car. Now, has Mansell seen Pulling on the outside line? Abby has to run wide. She might still be able to pass Frederick Lubin and I think has got the line as they come down the Wellington straight to pick off eighth position. Lubin has, I think, seen her now. Certainly will have done around the outside line, but she's not quite got the momentum into Brooklands to take that place. So. A good outside move from Abby Pulling, having a look for position, getting stuck in. That's exactly what she said she was going to do. So trying to really make the best of a bad job of having to start off the back of the grid. Black and white flag, that's for the race leader. The number 11 car, Luke Browning, is being warned about track limits and that is going to... Well, they won't get in his head too much. I know Luke pretty well. He won't be overly bothered about that, but it will give him something to think about other than the two cars that are immediately behind, including the fourth place car. Now, James Headley closing up, so it was three cars for the lead. Casper Stevenson having a look. Casper Stevenson goes wide this time. So too does James Headley, and Stevenson trying to get a run on Luke Browning as they come up to Maggots. Is he going to be able to do it? They're side by side now. He goes on to, into Beckett's. Still on the outside line, Luke Browning 
We'll see him. Luke's got a little bit more momentum. They're all going off now. And Jack O'Sullivan's coming up in the blue Carly car. O'Sullivan now was in third, challenging for second place. But watch Headley down the... I thought Headley was going to choose the inside line. Goes to the outside. Three wide as they come into Brooklands. Browning leads. This could end in tears. Three of them going into Brooklands. Headley goes wide. Casper Stevenson back into P2. And they're back where they were. A lap ago. Incredible racing from F4 now. But there's a gap on the inside. And here comes O'Sullivan. Very well placed by the Carlin driver, still side by side. Stevenson's had good pace around here this weekend, but O'Sullivan places the Marsh car very well indeed on the inside. Watch for James Headley back in, in fourth position as well. He's going to maybe try and follow the Carlin car through on the inside line. Again, very wide track limits. Needs to be watched by Casper Stevenson. Wouldn't surprise me if he got the uh, next warning. In fact, it's 27 car. Alex Connor who gets track limits warning. Uh, next up is now James Headley goes around the outside. Headley challenging Stevenson, bumps over the kerbs. Superb from Headley and Stevenson now under pressure from Alex Connor. So Stevenson, I was saying he was getting tired of second place, he'd probably take that from me right now. He's on the inside line here. O'Sullivan second, Headley third, this the battle for fourth. The 27 car around the outside line, Alex Connor manages to do it. Connor goes through back into fourth position. Super racing from him. And all this is letting Luke. Browning get away, six tenths now the gap between himself and Zach O'Sullivan. So Sullivan, deja vu for him because he was chasing down the leader of yesterday's race at exactly the same time and did catch, didn't manage to pass Alex Connor yesterday. And this is the battle for the lead. They're closer with two minutes on the clock. Zach O'Sullivan closing up on the leader, Luke Browning. In turn, James Headley in third. He's starting to have a look. Look, goes wide there. Alex Connor will be very keen to pick up any pieces as well. Should it all go pear-shaped for the lead trio? But it's Luke Browning still there, soaking up the pressure. But watch the Carlin car. I think Zach O'Sullivan has got a little bit of reserve in the tank and looks to the outside line as they go across the line. Into Cops corner, he goes wide, he risks being passed by James Headley here, but he's having a go, runs wide, Headley comes through on the inside line, it's partly in avoidance, he's on the grass, and Headley's going to take P2. Here they come, still side by side, out of maggots, into Beckett's, Headley on the inside, and Zach O'Sullivan still trying to brave it out, has he got the momentum, he's got the inside line as they come along Wellington straight again, superb F4 racing. And what about that from Zach O'Sullivan? Superb defence, great chasing from James Headley, and the battle is still not over. Here comes O'Sullivan. Alex Connor right at the back of the quartet too. Fifth position, Casper Stevenson not out of the mix as well. So it's five cars for the race lead here in this superb F4 race. This, we think, will be on to the last lap of this 20-minute race, and Luke Browning has soaked up a lot of pressure. He's managed to extend the lead at times, but also... He's had to fend off Zach O'Sullivan. He's had to fend off Casper Stevenson in the early stages. Now O'Sullivan coming under pressure from Headley. They're all going wide. There might be something to say by the steward. But look at James Headley now, side by side, as they go into Maggots. He's going to have to try and brave it out as they go into Beckett's, but surely the Marsh car will have the momentum and the track position to hold on to P2. Headley is all over the back, the JHR car all over the back of the Carlin machine. Down the Wellington straight once again, Luke Browning is still there in lead position. Not taking a defensive line at all as they come down into Brooklyn on this, the final lap. Zach O'Sullivan, what's he got left in the tank? It's going to be all five liners stern here at Silverstone in our second race of the weekend. And Luke Browning looks in his mirrors, looks one way, looks the other, now looks ahead towards the chequered flag, which is being ready for him here. And Luke Browning takes the win. Zach O'Sullivan second, James Headley in third place. Fourth position goes to Alex Connor with Casper Stevenson next up. Abby Pulling trying to close down on Christian Mansell to take seventh position. It was Roman Belinsky, by the way, in six. Christian Mansell next from Abby Pulling. Frederick Lubin ninth, the top ten completed by Rima Jafali. With Luke Browning and Alex Connor penalised for track limits, Zach O'Sullivan wins round 17 from James Headley. Casper Stevenson completes the podium ahead of Roman Belinsky, then Browning and Connor. Christian Mansell, top rookie in seventh. Abby Pulling is eighth from Frederick Lubin. Rima Jafali in tenth. The final finisher, Matthias Sakazeta.
Here's a look at the full grid for you here for round 18. Alex Connor on pole, Casper Stevenson alongside. Zach O'Sullivan, second in the championship, is on row two. With the championship leader, Luke Browning. Luke looking forward to uh, coming back from that track limits penalty in the previous race. Abby Pulling is next from James Headley. That's completing row three. On the fourth row, rookie pole once again to Frederick Lubin. Roman Belinsky is alongside him. Then Rima Jafali and Christian Mansell. Matthias Sakazeta completes the grid. Zach O'Sullivan is fourth through Beckett's for the first time. Casper Stevenson leads here. Superb start from the front of the grid, but look how close Alex Connor is to him. Comes out of the slipstream and he's going wide as they come down into Brooklands. So too is Zach O'Sullivan in P4. O'Sullivan trying the outside line of Luke Browning. Browning giving him a fair bit of room there. And O'Sullivan's going to go through and convert that into third place. Browning still trying to hold out on the outside line. Wonderful single-seater racing between the pair, and that is for third place. O'Sullivan back into third, which is where he qualified in the Carlin Cup. Now, Browning goes to the outside line and will start to attack the outside line to get the position back. James Headley is in fifth, triple winner, of course, at Thruxton. Now, if you're thinking we're missing a car, we are indeed. It's Rafael Via Gomez as through Abby Pulling on the inside line of James Headley and makes contact with her teammate. They had contact yesterday, and Abby Pulling goes wide. Had a look down the inside line, James Headley will recover. Now, is Headley's car going to be damaged as a result of that? And he's well back. Headley was fourth in the championship. Alex Connor here could potentially relieve James Headley of fourth place in the championship standings. Pulling is still going, but has got Rima Jafali on the outside line. Sakaseta in behind, 11th place now, James Headley. So Headley has rejoined the Hampshireman, rejoining in 11th place. He's just going to be now trying to get a feel the two JHR cars, not what want. you want, don't want to see cars tangling anyway, but especially not teammates. Indeed, there was the look up the inside line. They'll both argue it out, I'm sure, within the team and possibly with the clerk at the end again. Here's another view of pulling. Silver and pink car dives down the inside line. Rima Jafali, absolute standout for me so far this weekend. Uh, it's usually some debate as who's driver of the weekend. Well, Alex Connors had two poles. Grabbed a win in the first race, but Rima runs a little bit wide there. Maybe the curse of the commentator coming into play and Abby Pulling is going to have a bit more momentum as they go down the straight. James Headley trying to get involved in the mix as well. Headley, I think this is going to be damage limitation for him. He's got the inside line, but not quite close enough to Pulling. He's going to try the outside run on Rima Jafali, who's having none of it. Pulling has to go wide. And now James Headley, look at that. Headley read that superbly right the way round the outside. And a clean manoeuvre from James Headley. But Abby Pulling's got the inside. Is she going to get the momentum as they come out of Woodcourt? No. And James Headley goes through. Super pass by James Headley. Uh, remember that Abby Pulling was challenging James earlier on. There might be a challenge on now as well because Abby looking to the inside. James Headley threw on the inside line now of Rima Jafali and makes it up into eighth place. So good start of the recovery here from James Headley. Seemingly the car not damaged. Back with the race leader, Casper Stevenson. What a good race he's driving at the moment. He's doing enough to inch away from Alex Connor in second place, having done the hard work of getting the car off the line. And of course, at this time of the race, you start to look at the timing screen to see whether there was a jump start. It looked very, very good to me from uh, where we were. Again, back to... Oh, and off goes James Headley. Now, did he have damage on the car after the contact with Abby Bulling? He's trying to get it through the gravel. That's going to bring the tyre Sakaseta into the points. And fair play to James Headley. The hat-trick winning driver at Thruxton. Doesn't... Oh, no, oh, and he's got it stuck. He got it that far. Now, is that going to instigate the safety car, or will the car be pushed away? Certainly going to be yellow flags there, nothing left. What a frustrating day for James Headley. 
after having all three race wins at Thruxton. You can see there the, they know what's happened. The board goes down and James Headley sums up his day, doesn't it? I wouldn't really want to be in the team uh, garage after this one when he uh, has to work with Abby Pulling, to be perfectly honest, afterwards. So we are going to have the safety car for James Headley's machine, which will need to be recovered. Lights out on the safety car here at Silverstone. We're ready to go. 2020 F4 British Championship racing again. Casper Stevenson here. The nerves are going to be jangling. Hasn't taken a win in F4. First year driver, not a first year car racer because he raced in the Janetta Junior Championship last year. Hasn't had a win so far and is going to be looking for the moment when he will floor it and try and get away from Alex Connor. He's starting to go now. He had an eight tenths of a second lead before the safety car. We've got four minutes to go. Not only is he looking for his first win, I remind you, it is also the Argenti team looking for the win as well. And it's a decent enough restart. We'll see what the gap is as they go across the timing line here at Silverstone. Green flags, we are racing again. 5-10, so not a bad restart for Casper Stevenson. Abby Pudding still working hard. Reva Jafali here. This has been very, very competent race here from Jafali. And now Pulling has found the gap and goes through. It was a small gap, but Abby Pulling managed to work her way into it and makes the pass, goes up now into eighth position. So more points for Abby. Next target will be the Lubin Mansell battle, which of course is now within her grasp after the safety car. Lubin there runs a little bit wide, Christian Mansell does as well. Next, Abby Pulling, Reba Jafali will probably try and fight back now, as we've seen her do the last couple of races. And Christian Mansell looks down the inside, that's for the rookie class lead. The Aussie having a look at Lubin, who runs wide, and Lubin was flustered by that. Loses the class lead to Christian Mansell, loses the pace to Abby Pulling, and he's also going to lose out to Reba Jafali. So Jafali coming through. Now, now we've got Abby Pulling having a, a good look at Christian Mansell to see if she can get past the Carlin car. So a good recovery here from Abby. All of a sudden, it just seemed to have opened up, and it was the safety car, I think, that maybe just unsettled Reba Jafali's race rhythm, and probably Frederick Lubin as well, because it closed Christian Mansell up to him, and he put the challenge out. So we get, a, we get an extra lap by one second here. This is the last lap of the race, and the gap six tenths between Stevenson and Connor. So Casper Stevenson is potentially on for his first car racing win here, and it was down to two key things. The original start, which he managed to get off the line superbly to beat Alex Connor into the first corner, and then on the restart, held his nerve and pulled away again. The gap six tenths, it was eight tenths at the safety car, and Casper Stevenson, a little bit of history here. We're going to have the clean sweep of every team having won a race in the F4 British Championship this year, and another winning driver, Casper Stevenson, on his way to his first win in F4. Three different winners in three races, again underlining how competitive this wonderful championship is. Watch for the checker, Casper Stevenson's first win. Congratulations to him and the Argenti team, who are rightly delighted. Who's going to win the rookie class? It's Christian Mansell, who comes through just ahead of Abby Pulling. Abby couldn't quite dislodge the Aussie in the closing stages. Matthias Sakazeta picks up another championship point in 10th place, but... Casper Stevenson takes the win from Alex Connor and Zach O'Sullivan. Luke Browning, the championship leader, fourth from Roman Belinsky. Rookie class win again for Christian Mansell, ahead of Abby Pulling and Rima Jafali. Frederick Lubin, second in the rookies. And completing our points finishes, Matthias Sakaseta. James Headley, sadly, a non-finisher in that one. But Casper uh, Stevenson will be making his way. Uh, down now what does it look like for a first time winner i thought we might get the, the big jump it's very slightly off going absolutely delighted the argenti team casper stevenson it's been a long time coming, and now he's got that first win we can expect a huge amount more of those well done casper 
Asper, congratulations. I'm so chuffed for you. Five times you finished in second place and now finally you got that first win for you and for the team as well. We could see you bouncing around in part firmly. Just try and put into words what this win means for you. Yeah, no, I'm really happy. The team has worked so hard. All the boys there in the workshop, Jack, Connor, everyone. Um, and yeah, I'm just so happy to get it. It was a bit of a, a tense race like with the safety car restart and my right contact lens fell out. So it was so annoying. I could only see through one eye. So that was the scariest part. That and, makes it um, even more impressive. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I've got decent vision without, but it just made it a bit cloudy and that was the scariest part. But yeah, I was so happy when uh, I saw the checkered flag and yeah, it's just for, for, for Argenti, they do such a good job and um, for everyone else. And yeah, I mean, I have so many podiums, so this is first win, really happy. Um, Alex, your thoughts on that one? Slightly, slightly frustrating. It was all about that start really, wasn't it? Yeah, it, I mean, it, it is what it is. I got a bad start uh, and then Casper got me, got me off there. But yeah, it was it was it was a good race. I think that you know, I think me and Casper held held them off quite well. But yeah, I mean, uh, the dirty air around here isn't isn't nice. After lap one, I was kind of in no man's land, um, and yeah, I didn't really have the pace to catch the front two. Um, but yeah, it's good to pick up another podium. So let's have a look at the championship standings. Luke Browning, 33 points, so the gap has come down slightly over Zach O'Sullivan. Casper Stevenson, third from Alex Connor, James Headley, fifth, then Roman Belinsky and Abby Pulling, seventh. Christian Mansell, still the top rookie, he's in eighth. Roberto Faria, ninth, and Frederick Lubin completing our top ten.